Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hoi Mustafu story with us, the Hoi Mustafu. And in this video, we would like to take you to the Faroese new tunnel, the Asturoya Tunnel, aka the Asteroid Tunnel. So what's so special about this tunnel? Well, let's check it out. That's it. Here it is, welcome to the Asteroid Tunnel or the Asteroid Tunnel. So the Asteroya Tunnel or the Asteroid Tunnel is a subsea tunnel that connected the Stremoy Island and the Asteroid Island. It's not that it has, has not been connected. It is actually connected by a big, long bridge. But now they created an extra under the sea tunnel that can shorten the traveling time from Stremoy to Asteroid and the other way around. Usually it takes about an hour and because of this tunnel, they cut it down to under 20 minutes. But aside from that, it also has a not ordinary roundabout. It has a very special roundabout that looks like a giant jellyfish that illuminated with aquamarine lighting and surrounded by a life-size dancing figures. As you can see now, we already have a traffic jam because we're approaching closer to the roundabout. And I guess because this is the first day, people are driving very slow to enjoy this beautiful giant jellyfish roundabout. So we go all one way around and then to Tausha, right? And what does it mean, like kilometer? No, it's from the roundabout. It's two kilometers that way and eight. Or no, I don't know. It's more than two, huh? So this light installation in the roundabout were decorated by a 76 years old Faroese artist named Trondur Patterson. He is the same guy who also Does made the light installation inside the Noroya tunnel, in, the tunnel, the subsea tunnel that connected Lorvik to Klaxvik, which I'm going to show you that part also as a bonus video at the end of this video. Okay, we're going one way around, huh? and then we go to Torsho. Patterson said that these link figures represent the Faroese ring dance where hundreds of people come together in a circle holding hands and the figures are walk walking from darkness into light and they are symbolized a very Faroese idea that by joining hands and working together we can achieve great things. Quick extra fact, this tunnel construction started in 2016 and the deepest part of the tunnel is 187 meter 
below the sea levels. This tunnel is not for free, but until up to New Year, from this 19th of December up to New Year, people in the Fair Island can enjoy this tunnel for free. But after that, cars will be charged for about 75 Danish kroner or about 12 US dollar for a one-way journey for a toll fee. It's quite hefty price, I think. <laughs> This light. Technically, this is the best two way tunnel because. At the air, I'll test it, yeah. I'll test it. It's desperate, right? Yeah. So now we're going to head to Torshound and then we're going to t uh, come back and go to Strender. And if you notice, right now we're looking at a very unusual traffic jam from Torshound direction to the roundabout. Hmm, this is interesting because traffic jam is a very unusual sight in the Faroe Island. So if you want to see how the entire um, tunnels look like, keep on watching the video all the way to the end. And I'll add an extra short video about the tunnel up north. So keep on watching. How often do you experience this? Everyone is in a rush all the time in Faroe Island. We need to record this definitely for sure. <laughs> One in a lifetime oh, opportunity oh, for Oh, they have an extra lighting yes. exhibition here. See, they can't Sorry, change yeah. colors. I no, I mean, they put extra lights here. It's blue, know. red, oh. blue, red. It's like, I mean, like the flags. Yeah, but I think they only put it here. They probably they can change the color the one here. Yeah, but like not the Also camera, I guess. Yeah, well, it doesn't have to be that slow. I know. Yeah, but he maybe, is. Maybe he's, yeah, maybe he is recording for traffic. Yeah. Or maybe he wishes to cause the traffic. That's good. Yeah, it's empty. It's yeah. always like that.
21 and it's about what is it 10 kilometers to the roundabout huh? so in an hour we should be there okay or half an hour one decade later two thousand years later Please don't tell me you're going to surrender. So here it is, we're finally at the end of the tunnel. Now we arrive in Stender and next we're going to continue to Klaxvik. So here it is, welcome to the Noroya Tunnel or the North Tunnel. The subsea tunnel connected the Easter Island of Asteroid to the Northern Island of Boroi. This tunnel is 6.2 kilometers long. This tunnel connected the towns of Lorvik, which is on Asteroid, and the town of Klaxvik in Boroi. This, uh, until the Asteroid Tunnel, which is just open, the Norio Tunnel was the longest tunnel in the Faroe Islands. It has a depth of 150 meters below the sea level. The Noria Tunnel was built in 2003 
after the 1990s Faroese economic crisis. And then it's finally or officially opened on the 29th of April 2006. Just like the asteroid tunnel, the Norio tunnel is also not a free tunnel. Um, it costs about 100 kroner if you don't have a subscription, but if you do have a subscription, it only costs 20 kroner per one way. And there it is, the beautiful light exhibition made by the same artist who create the light exhibition in the asteroid tunnel. So finally we almost reaching at the end of the tunnel which also the end of the story. Thank you for watching this such long tunnel video and we'll see you in our next video story. So, peace with us. Bye bye.